Your host is Mr. Shengoma, and we are looking. We are looking at functions. So basically, a function involves a domain and a range. So when we are talking about a domain, simply we are talking about what we put in. That is like input. And when you are talking about range, that is like what is uh, comes after putting in the input, and that is like our output. So domain stands for our input, and range stands for our, our output. For example, if I'm given this function there, that 3x plus 2, right? So we can see here, our input, we have been given either 2, seven or 10. Now from our input, using that function given, we need to get our output. What is our function? The function given is three X plus two. So if I input two, because X here is given as two, two times three is six, six plus two is eight. Hence my output for two, it will be eight. If I put in input as seven, seven times three, we get 21. 21 plus two, we get 23. Then my output for seven will be 23. If I input 10, 10 times three is 30. 30 plus two, I get 32. So my output for the input 10 will be 32. So this is an example to show you domain and range. So domain simply stands for our input. And remember, our input is our X. Range stands for our output. And remember, our output is X. So here we go. So any function of X is always equal to Y. So from today, we have to remember that I can be given function x but it's always equal to y why because from the input x i have to get the output y so even if i'm given function g remember function g also is for x so from my input of x i get y also if i given my function of h is equal to y we have got two common notations that are commonly used the first one is this one. So how do we read this notation? Normally, to read this notation, we say function f of x equals to y. Why we have say function f? Because sometimes we have function g, sometimes we have function h. So if it is a different function like g, we shall say function g of x is equal to whatever will be given as our working. So another notation we normally use is this one here. So this function reads function f, function f mapping, mapping x on two y. All right, so those are two common notations that we always use in functions. So let's see an example how do we continue with the domain and range? So we can be given function f of x is equal to two, but this is exactly the same as function f mapping x on two to x. So that's exactly the same. Why? Because those are two different meanings. Those are two different functions to mean exactly the same. So these two functions mean exactly the same. So if my input is one, two times one, I get two. If my input is two, two times two, I get four. If my input is three, so how do I show this? Watch. If I have function on place of X, I keep three, for example, is equal to two. So two on the place of X, I keep three. So that's how we get six. So that means for this, the answer is, is six. So if, if I go on there, right? One, I get six. Three, I get eight. 
negative two, I'll get three. So that's how we show the input of, of X. We move on to the next part. There, function, that one. So I can input my two and I get two square and the answer will be, will be four. There, if I input five, it means my x will be five square. So five square is 25. 25 times two, I get 50. Okay, and finally here, if my input is three, that means three plus five, I get eight, divided by two, I get four. All right, what if I'm given output y, and then I'm supposed to find the domain x? So here is our example. f of x is equal to 11. So already I am given the output 11. I am not given x, but I know function is equal to this. So I will substitute on the place of fx, I keep the function that is 5x plus 1 is equal to 11. Then I solve it normally like uh, algebra. And my answer here for x will be two. So my domain is two. Finally, here, for f of x is equal to negative four. Remember, this means I have been given y, and y is my, my output, and that is my range. So I have the range. I need to find my x. That is my domain. So my function is the same. On the place of fx, I will substitute and I keep 5x plus 1 is equal to my, my range. Then to get x, I use normal algebra. And I will find that my x will be negative 1. So that is how we find the domain when given the range. So we have seen we can find the uh, range at the same time we can find domain. That is, we can find y. Also, we can find X. This is our exercise which I will send to you. Thank you for being good students today.